Your local election headquarters, Pennsylvania voters can see the Republicans hoping to become the Commonwealth's next governor and U.S. senator. A debate featuring those candidates will be next Wednesday in Newcastle. And First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti spoke with the people organizing the event. With a week to go before the event, workers and volunteers were busy this afternoon setting up the stage and hanging decorations inside Newcastle's historic Scottish Rite Cathedral. And then just put one yes. on this. Next Wednesday, this will be the site of a debate featuring the six Republican candidates running for U.S. Senate and nearly all those seeking the GOP nomination for governor. We just want the candidates to come and recognize the part of the state. Lynn Ryan tells me this is something she's been working on since she became chair of the local party. She says Lawrence recently became part of what she calls the rural T of largely Republican counties located outside Pennsylvania's major cities. And the rural T is where the candidates win statewide elections. You know, you can lose the elections in um, Philadelphia and Pittsburgh, but you win them in the rural T. Aside from bringing the candidates for Senate and governor here to this area so they can talk directly to the people in this part of western Pennsylvania, the event on the 12th will not only shine a bright spotlight on this venue, but it'll also shine one on this community. I think this building is one of uh, Pennsylvania's best kept secrets and its size and what we have to offer both the state and the city. The big issue still hanging over the debate is the ongoing pandemic and its effect on attendance. Ryan says the 2800 seat capacity will allow for social distancing. And anyone right now that wants us to put them in a place that's blocked off, we are more than happy to accommodate. For now, organizers say they've sold enough tickets in advance to cover their costs but still hope to fill this space next Wednesday. In Newcastle, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.